Hello! Welcome to stream as always. How we doing? We're gonna work on more of the Union Cross presentation. We are almost... I, I know, I, I say that every time. I say that every time. But we're nearing the bottom. We're getting so close. Um, we're, 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 we're pushing through and we're almost done. Um, so hopefully... If we don't finish this stream, then we should finish next stream, maybe? I don't know. We're gonna hang out and vibe anyway. And it's good it's, it's it's gonna be a time. I got some coffee, we got some chill music, and uh and we're just gonna vibe. I was thinking about um idea like uh just just as a little bit of a side tangent um i've been thinking about ideas for um what i want to do with my game and uh i'm glad that i'm able to um like actually start making buildings and like environments for the player to like actually run up to and like run around and almost makes it feel like a, a real world but um I'm thinking I want to do a thing where, like, every month or so, I work on a different world. I feel like that would help, like, progress the, like, the overall, like, goal for what I want to do this year in a better way. Like, I, like, pacing it out like that, I feel like would be better. And, um, that way I don't over-focus on one world and then... All of a sudden, I have three more worlds left to do, and it's, like, August or whatever, right? So, um, I'm thinking next month, which, uh, is coming up in two days? I forget if January is 31 or 30 days, but, uh, yeah, in a few days, uh, next game stream, we might start working on a new world, which is gonna be exciting, because, um... It's the uh, storybook fantasy world, and I want that world to basically have its own, like, art direction, and, like, its own, like, 
like way of post processing and stuff i have plenty of ideas for that but that's then this is now uh we're continuing to work on the uh union cross presentation we uh made it past the uh wreck it ralph world because nothing i don't think actually happens in the wreck it ralph world i think it's just this is just giving more context for why you're in wreck it ralph world which is kind of weird because they don't really do that with the other disney worlds in this game but um uh yeah right now we are having a flashback with the master of masters and uh he's like all right uh lucia's like questioning his plans he's like oh what you're saying is great and all but why does your plan involve letting darkness consume this world and have countless of people die while we all just run away to a new world and he's like you'll see wink wink uh he's like oh yeah i could defeat the darkness i just can't do it in this lifetime uh-huh whatever that means uh yeah so we're gonna we're gonna just keep going we're gonna vibe and uh yeah, if I have the energy, then maybe we'll finish. We have to, we do have a lot to discuss. This doesn't seem like a lot compared to how much we got through, but there's so much to unpack in these like ending paragraphs here. So it's like, huh, this might, this might uh, take a while, but uh, we can do it. All right, so, Oh yeah, and there's also, uh, it also like cuts back and forth between it being a flashback and it being the modern day, whatever. Um, let's see. Also, just as another side tangent before we start, I know I'm taking a while before starting, but uh, I just want to say that I'm actually really happy with myself that I haven't missed a stream since I started streaming this year. And, uh, hopefully that didn't just jinx it, but, uh, I want to keep going like that. I feel like this is a good, uh, uh, schedule to be in. It's good motivation to, uh, get up at the time that I do. And, um, yeah, I, I hope I can continue pushing forward, even if, uh, I don't have as many ideas for the, for the stream, you know? Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm just, just want to say I'm proud of how far I've come so far, uh, at least this year. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. Um, let's see. Uh, where do we leave off in our notes? Uh, oh yeah, this whole thing with Maleficent. Uh, Maleficent. Uh, Brain. He has the Book of Prophecies. Oh wow, we actually have a lot more to get through that. I thought we were further down. <laughs> uh, Lucia takes the bathroom break and comes back. Uh, he's, uh, it's unpredictable, this is just watch, don't worry about it, uh, Brain explains that, you know, they're in a data world, which I thought I mentioned up here, yeah, we're in a data world, so that's already brought up, um, needs a bit more time so so how should I transition into brain having the book of prophecies because this is all just the flashback maybe, maybe we just have F uh, okay so let's get the computer room uh, bold and italics please And we need I key I key, I'm not gonna stop doing that I swear uh, there we go uh, we need ephemer player uh, it just everyone right so skull brain Larium Ventus To the present, Ephemer and 
the player come back from hanging out with Sonic in in Wreck It Ralph world. So yeah, the player just got over uh, realizing that war was real. <laughs> brain's like, yo, well, welcome back. How was it in wreck -It ralph world? And then the player's like, Yeah, it's all good. Still can't get over the whole war is real thing, but you know, I, I guess you just kind of get over these things. Huh. And then F Ephemer's like, ha ha, you... You got that right. Anyway, you s anyway, brain. You said that this world is a data world, right? Do you know how Brain, you said this world's a data world, right? Do you know how to get back to the real daybreak town? And then Brain's like, Yeah, I might have an idea, but I'm gonna need some more time to figure some 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 things out yeah he's gonna be a virus and he's gonna overwrite the future maybe I just have him say that again and then just the people around him just have no idea what he's talking about he's a bit more time he's gonna be a virus and overwrite the future gonna be a virus and I'm gonna overwrite and then Ephemer's like yeah you've said that before but none of us here have any clue what you're talking about cuz he said that before Yeah. And then Brain's like... Don't worry about it. Ah, whoops. And then this is when the Book of Prop... This will be... Because... It's at this point that it's revealed that he has the Book of Prophecies. So I'll be like, then the Book of Prophecies falls out of his pocket. Uh... 
Okay. So I think it's not like he's been. It's not like he's hiding it from them here. Because, yeah, later on, it goes into, like, it goes into, like, who got the list and whose name was circled and who gets the Book of Prophecy. So it's like, they re he reveals that he has it later, but I'll just kind of have him reveal it now. Because it's not, it's not such a big deal. What's important is that it's revealed that he has it. And the Book of Prophecies falls out of his pocket. And then Ephraim's like, or maybe the player. Because the player wouldn't know what the heck this thing is, so. Huh, that's a weird book. What's that? And then Brain's like, oh, it's just the book of prophecies. No big deal. And then Ephemer is like, wait, you've had that this whole time? Since when did you get it? And then Brain's like, oh, it all started when, and then uh, it'll flash back to when Avo is telling Brain about the Book of Prophecies. So I should probably title this uh, little section here. So this is um, Brain and the Book of Prophecies. This will be uh, that. There we go. So it all started when, and then, yeah. Flashback to when Ava was telling Brain about being a union leader for the Dandelions. So, let's see, what do we need? What scenes do I have? Because, let's see, I think I need... Probably just the fountain, right? Because, yeah, that's what I have. So, yeah, probably this scene. Because, like, technically she meets him on, like, that cliff, like, just on the outskirts of Daybreak Town, but, like, it doesn't really matter. So... Day break town fountain or whatever. Or let's see, how did I use that scene before? It's just yeah, daybreak town day. Ava and Brain. So I have here in my notes, it says, Brain isn't interested in being a union leader at first, but then Ava tells him he gets to hold the Book of Prophecies. 
So, maybe I do a bit here where it's like... It's like, nah, I don't want to go in that spooky basement. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Maybe I do a bit like that. Where it's like, no, I don't want to be a union leader. Would you do it for a book of prophecies? Maybe I do that. That sounds funny. So Brain's like, nah, I don't want to be a u union leader. And then Ava's like, Ah, uh, come on! It'll it, it it'll be fun. And then brains like, but that sounds like a lot of work. And then Ava's like, would you do it for a book of prophecies? And then Brain's like, okay, fine. So how, how's that flow? It's, it's like, nah, I don't want to be a union leader. Uh, come on, it'll be fun. That sounds like a lot of work. Would you do it for a book of prophecies? Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe that's how we do it. Uh... I also gotta mention that, uh, she gave him the list of all the union leaders and the, the name that's been circled. So I was like, okay. I also put this list in the book. It shows everyone it it shows everyone who's going to be a union leader a lot of Donkey Kong music. It's a jam. I also put this list in the book. It shows everyone is going to be a union leader. There's a name that's circled, and that's the person that gets the Book of Prophecies. Should I? Because, again, this is a situation where they technically review, reveal it later. Uh, but I wonder if I should reveal this now, too. Because in the list, Brain's name isn't circled. What is it? I think it's Sterlitzia? <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's Sterlitzia that has her name circled. Do they say? I forget. Yeah, Ventus's name isn't on the. I mean, that's that's a whole thing for later. Okay, so either they didn't reveal it or I didn't write it in my notes um, whose name was circled, but I think it was Sterlitzia. Maybe that's something I should look up, because I want to make sure, because that's going to be annoying, right? Like them teasing whose name is circled and then it just, I don't reveal it. So maybe, maybe that's something I look up real quick. Union Cross. 
union leader list whose name is Circle. I mean, no, it's re literally revealed that it wasn't Brain. It can't be Ventus because he's not even supposed to be a union leader. Let me just let me just look this up real quick. Maybe they say it here. Cause like he reveals it, right? Brain lifts up his hat. Thanks sir. That was a very important detail. Thank you. Uh-huh. It's a data world. He's gonna become a virus and overwrite the future. Wait, Brain was circled? Brain shows the note of the listed union leaders with his name circled on it. I guess his name was circled. Where Ephemer learns that Brain wasn't... Wait, his referring to Brain or his referring to Ephemer? Where Ephemer learns that Brain wasn't the one that was supposed to handle the Book of Prophecies and Strelitzio was supposed to become a union leader rather than Lorium, as her name was crossed at- Huh? Why- Huh? Why is Sterlitzia's name crossed out? Is it because she died? Master Ava was also the person that decided to give the Book of Prophecies rather than the Master Master- Yeah, I- hope, Hoping that the future could be changed. This is a lot of words. Let me find a different source. Oh, I don't think this is... Okay, yeah, that's not it at all. I think it was Strelitzia that was supposed to get the book. I just want to know whose name was circled. Unless it's a situation where Strelitzia's name was circled but Ava crossed her name out and then circled Brain's name and then gave the book to Brain being like, look, you're the one that's supposed to have it. Man, I have absolutely no clue. And yeah, all of these are... Elrena's name was Arlene? Huh? Yeah, this 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 dude posted his theory about who he thinks the false union leader is. I was just more fascinated that he had Elrena's name spelled as Arlene. Even though they said her name was uh, El Reyna, unless they changed that? I don't know. Anyway, I'm, I'm starting to fall down a rabbit hole. I have to climb back out. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, the point is, 
brain wasn't supposed to get the Book of Prophecies. So... Yeah, it's fine. Alright, um... Yeah, this, we're, still in, we're still in the flashback, so... I was talking to Brain. He, he's like, oh, would you do it for a book of prophecies? Uh... Oh, I literally wrote it in my notes. I'm stupid. She also gives him the list of the other members and tells them that his, since his name is circled, he gets the book of prophecies. So it's not revealed that he's not supposed to have it yet. It's because it clearly says that his his name is circled in the list. So. I'll have Ava say, like, I even circled your name. So that means. I mean, Ava didn't circle his name. Your name is circled, so that's why I can give you the Book of Prophecies. And then, I didn't mean to do that. And then Brain's like, cool. Alright, alright. Now we're back, now we're back in the present. This is like a non sequitur. Uh, but Lorium is talking about Strelitzia. He wonders why if she knew about the war this whole time, she only tried to get the player to join the Dandelions at the last possible moment. Brain says that something happened that made her absolutely sure the war was happening. Brain says he has an idea and asks Laurie to leave for a bit so he can think, and then he calls his Cheerithy. I don't think his Cheerithy matters that much, although it's very funny that his Cheerithy also has a, a fedora with a feather in it. And he's all, you know, high and mighty and snarky. And then, um... Literally immediately after that we go we go to back to Maleficent So I spelled prophecies very wrong here. There we go. Alright, maybe maybe I should just cut back to uh, Maleficent during this part. Maybe I should, just to kind of have it transition better, maybe I should have it transition back to the present to like finish off this segment here. I'm just trying to think about how I should do this. So. So computer room. So we don't actually need guys
But we do need Lorium here. So Brain's like, so yeah, that's basically what happened. And then I'll be like, Lorium, were, were you even listening? I, no, I don't want to do any of that. Lorium, were you even listening? And then the player is like, Huh, I didn't even realize you were he were here. And then Lorium is like, Huh? Oh yeah, sorry. I I I, I can't can't help but constantly think about my sister. If she knew the whole time about the war that was about to happen. Why did she only try to warn the player at the last possible moment? And then the player's like, Please don't mention war again. I just got done getting over that. My god. And Brain's like, huh. That that is weird. I I think something happened that m made her ab Absolutely sure. War was happening right at the last minute. And the player's like, Why am I even here f for this? Sip of me coffee. Sip of me coffee. Alright, so... So that'll end that, uh, uh, segment. Well, maybe I'll have Brain say, like... I'm gonna keep looking at this book of prophecies for a bit. I'll let y'all know if I find out anything. And then that'll end that segment. So now... Maleficent Part 2. So it's... Daybreak Town Day. Maleficent and Darkness.
Maleficent's talking with Darkness about how she can get back to her own time. Uh, and meanwhile, I'll be right back. Uh, I'm gonna grab uh, a little bit of a snack. It won't take me too long. But uh, just give me a second. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. I got a banana. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a bite out of a banana. So. Maleficent is talking with Darkness about how she can get back to her own time. So I'm going to move the mic a bit closer. Because I realized I might be a bit quiet. I apologize for that. I can also probably turn this music down just a wee little bit. We'll try that. That should be good. That should be better. Um, Maleficent's talking with Darkness about how she can get back to her own time. Um... Let's see. In the tower, there's a lifeboat that can take her out from the data world into the real world. It explains that in order to get back to her time, the lifeboat can only transport her heart at the speed of light. Darkness then explains that all she needs is a medium to form her body and someone with memories of her. That way her heart can grow a new body. Darkness says that it can prove that she exists in the future because it's written in the Book of Prophecies. So, I want to look up more information about this lifeboat. And just about time traveling in Kingdom Hearts in the first place. How does time travel work? Just in general. And I know they bring it up in uh, Dream Drop Distance. That's not a spoiler or anything. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know only your heart can time travel. Or you could just be a heartless. If there's a version of yourself present at the time you want to travel to. Okay, and then it says you can't change what's destined to happen. Yeah, they're talking about young Xehanort, Terranort. And they're ta I think they're talking about the, the people in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. 
and how they were all able to, to time travel. And they even mentioned Timeless River. They, I love how, I love this. It literally bypasses all time travel laws. That's very funny. This explanation was simple and clean. All right, cool. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Lifeboat. I just want to know more about this because this is the thing that I think confused me the most when I was watching the, uh, the video. Okay, so that's how that lifeboat gets destroyed, is because of Lorium trying to stop Maleficent. So she's, she's just able to with this. These just let you travel to the future. And that includes... I mean, we'll, we'll get to all that. After Maleficent's departure, Lushu uses one of the lifeboats in the real Daybreak Town to send a cloaked figure that he calls the True Dandelion to the future. Because you could just do that. Hollow Bastion is a similar lifeboat device to the one in Daybreak Town. This one has five lifeboats instead of seven. During the heartless invasion of Radiant Garden, Terza Anort captures Kyrie and places her in a lifeboat, explaining that he seeks the Keyblade. He's, are you sure you don't mean the Keyblade? The X-Blade? By sending her to see if her heart will resonate with the Keyblade wielders. Oh boy, I know I know we're gonna get to that, but uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts One. This is the one that I want to talk about the most. Sora discovers Hollow Bastion's lifeboat device. It is Hollow Bastion's lifeboat device. At the world at the world terminus through the terminal for Hollow Bastion. He finds a computer terminal at the front which displays this text. One's born of the heart and darkness, devoid of heart- Oh boy. Heart, darkness, darkness, heart, kingdom, darkness, hearts. Ugh. Oh, oh my god. It's just talking about kingdom hearts, but... The great dark nail sealed within the great heart. <laughs> cool. This is the most, like, stereotypical, like, heart darkness, heart light darkness, shadow darkness, kingdom, kingdom heart darkness. The great darkness sealed within the great heart, prodigy of darkness, come back to the eternal darkness, for the heart of light shall unseal the path. My god this so much <laughs> the door to darkness to seal the light okay this doesn't matter <laughs> uh anyway that's for later anyway maleficent is talking with darkness about how she can get back to her own time So Maleficent's like, so you know a way for me to get back to my own time, right? And Darkness is like... Sure do, and it involves the lifeboats in the clock tower.
And then Maleficent's like, what do you mean lifeboats? So those... So those lifeboats are a plot device. I mean, the only means of bringing you into the real world and then into the future. And then, yeah, let's see. In the tower, there's a lifeboat that can get her from the data world into the real world. It explains that in order to get back to her time, the lifeboat can only transfer her heart. All she needs... The thing is... In order to... Not break continuity... In order to not break continuity, the lifeboat can only take your heart to the future. At that point in the future, you need, let's see, a medium to Keep your heart in and someone with memories of you so that your body can return. And then Maleficent's like, Wait, what do you mean in order to not break continuity? No, I don't want to do that. And then during this, I'm going to make a comment. And then this is where... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do this later. So I'll be like, wait, what do you mean in order to not break continuity? And then Darkness will be like, don't worry about it for now. We'll get to it later. Because, yeah, when I have the uh, union leaders using the lifeboats and, like, after the sort of, like, post-credits, like, where are they now thing, I'll have, I'll show that cutscene of Maleficent going to Kingdom Hearts 2 from Union Cross. And have another bite of banana. So that's all I really need for Maleficent right now. Yeah, so now we're at the point where uh, brains all revealing everything so I'll just title this segment like brain 
reveals a lot of things. So we need Daybreak Town Day and we need Brain we don't need the player we just need all the union leaders right Ventus Scald Ephemer and is Lorium here too? Yeah, I'll, let me, I'll just get everyone. So, Ephemer, Scald, Brain, Larium, Ventus. So, Brain's like, Hey, so, I found out some stuff. And then let's see what 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 all happens here. So Ephemer's like, oh yeah, what did you? Hey, so I found out some stuff. That's why I called you out. Here today all right what's going on I just realized this all needs to be formatted correctly there we go all right what's going on all right so let's see So, I'm the one, hold on, I gotta sneeze, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. So I'm the one holding the book of prophecies, right? Look, my, my, my name is even circled on this list, right? But thing is, I'm not the who, I'm not the one who was supposed to, to get it. Ava only gave it to me in order. Ava only gave it to me because this thing predicts that. This game predicted that war was going to happen and that the world was going to get destroyed. So it was kind of her way of trying to rewrite the future. That's fine. I'm not the one who's supposed to get it. Ava only gave it to me because this thing predicted that war was going to happen and that the world was going to get destroyed. So it was kind of her way of trying to rewrite the future. To maybe make it so that, or just it was her way of trying to rewrite the future. Uh, I 
that's cool and all, but there's also one other thing. Someone is here right now whose name isn't on this list. There's been a union leader that's been replaced. Ephemer's like, yeah, I kind of fig figured that from the start. I mean... Well, Ephemer doesn't know about the whole thing with Sterlitzia. Maybe this should be Lorium saying this. Yeah, I kind of figured that from the start. I mean, wasn't Sterlitzia? I mean, wasn't Stilizia supposed to be a union leader, and now no one can find her? It all seems a bit sus. It all seems a bit sus to me. Yeah, there's a whole thing where Ephemer thinks that Lorium was the one who was replaced, but his name's actually on the list. So I'll have Brain be like, Well, no one's tried to... Well, no one's tried to do anything Well, no one's tried to do anything bad at least We've all done a good job so far not having war happen So I so even if uh, union leader did get replaced. It's not like anyone is trying to do anything evil or anything. But no one's tried to do anything bad, at least. We've all done a good job so far not having war happen. So even if a union leader did get replaced, it's not like anyone's trying to do anything evil or anything. That being said... That being said, Ventus's name is not on the list. And then there's the reveal. Ventus is sure he talked to Ava about being a union leader. 
Brain explains that the reason why the dandelions exist is to keep light alive, but darkness could also follow. They ask Ventus about if anything weird happened during his talk with Ava. He said they met in an abandoned house first, then they went to the clock tower. He thinks that as soon as Master Ava showed up at the house was when they left and she took him she told him he was a union leader. He doesn't recall anything about Silicia being there. I don't mention an abandoned house in this outline here. I just mentioned that Strelitzia died. Yeah, and then this whole thing happens later. Okay. Vent's just like, wait, huh? I swear I talked with Alva about being a union leader. I'm just trying to think of how I want this to to work. Maybe then Lor maybe then Lorium brings up like or maybe Ephemer brings up Where were you and Ava when she talked with you about being a union leader? And then Ventus is like, it was at the clock tower. And then Ephemer's like, huh, that's weird. All of us had our talks in the center of Daybreak Town. And then this is when Lorium's like, do you know anything about what happened to Sterlitzia. And then Ventus is like, oops. No, nothing at all. I didn't... I didn't see her... while I was talking with Ava. That said, my memory of talking with Ava is all a bit fuzzy. I don't remember too well about what happened then. 
And then Lorium's like, I keep doing that, stop. And Lorium's like, huh, that's all a bit sus in it. And then that's how we end that segment. So now, okay, let's see. What else, what else do we have left? We go back to Maleficent. She asks why Darkness wants her to be back in her own time. And then this is when we, we start doing the pod rooms. And Lorium's like, hey, you, you can't do that. We need those. And then, uh... That's fine. So it's like, okay, so... After this point is all the shenanigans with, with the pod room. They, they have, like, a dream or whatever. Then Maleficent managed to escape... Still talking about Ventus being the replacement. Yeah, this is all about the uh, the pod room. And then yeah, the post credit scene. So I think I might end it here for the day. I feel like this is a good time because literally everything that happens from now is relating to the pod room, the lifeboats, them going back to the real world and then, you know, going their separate ways. And I feel like we might be able to crank all that out in one long stream that honestly I might do on Saturday just to like be able to like get it done I'll be able to stream all all night and then um and then yeah that'll be good um but yeah thank y'all for watching uh Thursday stream uh, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something completely different with, uh, with the game. Maybe we'll, we'll get started on making a new world and, um, it'll be exciting. I've been working on, uh, redesigns for, uh, some of the characters too for my game. Um, I've, they're just in the concept art stage. I want to get it right. I want to, like, get their designs, like, down perfectly so that I can, um do it really well i also want to get a substance painter at some point i know i mentioned that before but i have a new means of uh, earning income so hopefully that should be a thing that i'll be able to afford at some point in the future um but uh yeah thank you all for watching um i'll see you on thursday for more game dev uh so yeah take care and I'll, I'll see you then. Have a good one.